Hello and welcome to this Orlo training video on requesting a digitization. We're going to cover what can be digitized, digitization codes, requesting a digitization and possible outcomes of your request. A digitization is a scan from a book or a journal. This is permitted under the CLA Higher Education Licence, so long as the item is owned by the Bodleian Libraries. You can scan one chapter, one article, or 10% of the total. In this difficult COVID-19 period, it has been agreed that if the academic owns a copy of the title, they can scan their home copy, so long as the Bodleian Libraries also own a copy. For more information about the CLA licence and what we can and cannot digitise, please look up the Bodleian Libraries guidance or the CLA website. Digitisation codes are essential for requesting scans. We use them to report the requests to the CLA and we need them when we are making a request in Orlo. A digitisation code and the name of the course are essential for making requests. The code is usually provided by your library and let's take a look at a reading list in Orlo to see what it looks like. So I've opened up Orlo and the first thing I've done is log in. Now I'm going to go to my list to find the list that I'm working on. In this case, my demo list. At the top of the list is the list name and here in the list description is the digitization code. To make my digitization requests, I'll need both these pieces of information. So I'm going to copy the list title and place it in a notepad file. And I'm also going to copy the digitization code. And also paste that in a notepad file. You can add the title and digitization code to a notepad file, Word document, or just write it on a piece of paper. But it is important that you note these items now. I found the item for which I wish to request a digitization. Do this, I click on the three dots on the right hand side and select request digitization. I then add the chapter or section that I wish di digitized. Because I want a full chapter, I am keeping this box ticked. If I only wanted a selection of pages, I would untick this box. Orlo is quite clever and has already picked up the ISBN and the author of this item. I don't currently know the page range, so I will leave this blank. If I had a file ready to be uploaded, I could browse from my computer and add it here. As I do not have a file, I hope the library can make a scan for me. And so I will continue with my request by clicking next. I would now need to add the course name and digitization code that I prepared earlier. I could copy them both from the notepad file or type them manually, but accuracy is incredibly important. I have added the course title and the digitization code or course code. Orlo already knew the student numbers, so it added them automatically. If these are not added, type them in manually. Orlo is just double checking my email address so it can send me a confirmation when my scan is ready. And now I click next. Orlo will now determine if my scan meets copyright requirements and is covered by the CLA license. In most cases, you will get a result like this. My scan has met all copyright compliance checks, meaning that as soon as a digitization or scan is ready and has been uploaded, it will go live and be visible to all students. The Orlo digitization team will now arrange to have a scan made. This is the usual result when you request a digitization. Occasionally, you may receive a different message from Orlo. Sometimes you will get an in a message that says something like this, that the system cannot determine if the scan is permissible. This means someone from the Orlo digitization team will look at the copyright compliance manually and see if it can be made into a scan. They will email you if it cannot be or the scan will be uploaded if it is permitted. Very occasionally, we will get a message like this, that an item is not permitted for scanning. Unfortunately, this means a scan cannot be created. You can choose to push through the request by adding a reason and clicking submit request, but the digitization team will review it and will probably say that it is not permitted. We will only get this message if we have been told by the CLA that the item is not permitted for scanning. 
When your scan has been uploaded, you will receive an email telling you of this. You can also go to the reading list and see that the scan is ready to view by clicking on the View Online button next to the item. This will load the PDF of the scan. For more information on how to request a digitization, how to create lists in Orlo, or any more information about Orlo, go to our Guides for Staff link at the top of every Orlo reading list.